Hello YouTube, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Mark, Mr. Dividend Investor. In this video, we are going to look at three companies that I am bullish about in the month of September and I'm also loading up on these companies. These are companies that I am going to invest on. So, uh, if you like this kind of content, do me a favor, hit that like button. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I put out. Also, if you're not yet a subscriber, uh, hopefully at the end of this video, you will like and subscribe. Um, with that said, please remember that all of this is not financial advice. This is just me sharing. Without any more delays, let's take a look at these three companies. So the first company that I want to talk about is none other than one of my favorite companies. Coca-Cola, ticker symbol is KO. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with this company, this is a company that engages in manufacturing of non-alcoholic beverages. Uh, if you look at some of the brands and what this company is, it's 138 plus years, um, 200 plus brands worldwide, and then you got all your uh, stuff in there. So, um, want to learn more about uh, this company go to the website and then kind of take a look at it one of the things you want to look at is some of the uh, uh, information the free information in there so if we go now to uh, simply say dividend based on their dividend safety score they rated as 80 which is safe your dividend yield for this company is about 2.68 and then you see the market cap at the time of this video it is uh, at 72 you look down closer to the key metrics you can see payout ratio is 68 for payout ratio is 66 during the recession they've increased it but look at this this is one of the things i really like dividend streak of 104 years without a reduction that is just amazing uh if you look at the dividend growth the last seven years is an average of seven percent last five years to three and then the latest is five point uh four percent you can see from the uh, chart great upward trend again 104 uh, years without a reduction again even even more impressive 61 years of consecutive increases um, payment details you get paid quarterly months of april july october and december and your annual payout is a dollar 49 per share ex dividend date is september 13 so you got to get it before uh, this date and then you get your payout of october 1st you can see right here, um, based on their um, information, it is overvalued. Um, and then you'll take a look at it right now. I'll, I'll give you other um, information about uh, other uh, sources. Uh, and, and then you can decide uh, whether this is a company worth for you. It is in the high. It is in the almost in the 72. So um, if you're going to get this one, I would wait for a, a dip or a red day and then slowly... Uh, dollar cost average and you can see some of the uh, charts in here earnings per share sales growth total sales outstanding sales return on equity and return on investment capital you can see 18 percent you can see 39 percent now moving along to tip ranks based on their analysis they rated as moderate by 19 you got a two percent downside but if you look at over here the highest price tag would be 78 at the time of this video is 70 um, so if it's correct, then it will get as high as 78. Then you got your lowest of 62. 12 month forecast right there. You can see a high average and the low. And then if you get the uh, down, you can see some of the analysis. It's a mixture of buy and holds, as you can see from here. Now, if we move over to Seeking Alpha, based on their analysis, you can also see right here, it's a mixture of buy and hold. Um, Look at the performance on this one for the 10 year performance. It's up 73%. So if you would have bought this 10 years ago, you would have been up 73%. So solid company, uh, boring company, um, in my opinion, but Hey, it's, it's a solid company in my opinion that it's going to continue to, uh, create uh, great income in my opinion. Um, uh, Warren Buffett loves it. I think I love it as well. Now, if we move over to simply Wall Street, based on their share price and fair value, you can see it's undervalued. So their fair value based on their discount cash flow model, they think it's gonna go as high as 92, uh, which is their fair value. And then currently it's at 72, you can see right there. Now, if we go to bar chart, 
and then based on their analysis you can see 78 62 is the low 70 is the mean um, based on their analysis it is still a strong buy three months ago it's just still strong buy and currently it's a strong buy you can see right here uh, 19 analysis so it's pretty much similar 13 strong buy mon modern buy and five holds all right next on the list i want to talk about is meta uh, platforms ticker symbol is meta uh, this is a company that engages in development and social media application again one of my favorite companies in my opinion um, definitely go check it out if you're using facebook instagram and all that so if, again if something if you're using a company on a daily basis it maybe it's a, a good idea to start uh, investing on it looking at simply uh simply safe dividend based on the dividend safety score they rated at 70 which is safe the dividend yield is kind of small so 0 0.38 but you're looking at it as um as a company that's one of the uh, uh leading leaders in social media so again this is a new they started just having the dividend so not that much again payout ratio is five percent um how when are you going to get paid quarterly in the months of march june september and december and then your annual payout will be two dollars per share x dividend date is september 16 and then you get your payout uh date which is september uh 26 so if you look at some of the uh information looks reasonably valued it is in the high right now um again always wait for a dip if you want to get it as cheap as possible um, and then you got all your other informations in here now if we go over to tip ranks based on their analysis they rated a strong buy which is 43 you got your 30 39 buys three holds in one sell if you look at the price tag they feel that this one is going to go to the high of 647 at the time this video is about 582 with an 11 percent upside you can see um, and then you got your low 475 now, if you look at some of the forecasts, you can see a lot of buys, mostly buys, and then there's a few sold. Now, if we go over to Seeking Alpha, uh, look at the 10 year performance of this thing. It's at 574%. So, if you bought this 10 years ago, you would have been up 574. If you look at the rating, it's a mixture of buy, strong buy, and some holds. Um, moving along to simply Wall Street based on their share price and fair value. Uh, fair value about 641 currently it's about 521 so it is based on their analysis it's 18 percent undervalued um, now if we go over now to bar chart if you look at their ratings and breakdown it is a strong buy um, pretty much a strong buy the past couple of months looking at their price target pretty much similar 647 573 and then you got 382 and then the last one i want to talk about is nvidia ticker symbol is nvda this is a company that engages in design and manufacture of computer graphics and software so it just so happens that if you go to their website there's a uh, link with uh mark zuckerberg and then there's also a coca-cola stuff so interesting um Definitely one of my favorite companies. Uh, this is a company that engages in artificial intelligence, AI. I think it's just beginning. I think there's more. I think this company is gonna definitely be uh, in the forefront of the AI business. Taking a look at simply safe dividend based on their dividend safety score they rated as 89 which is very safe again the dividend yield is a little bit small so you're looking at this more of terms of uh, being in there for the ai not necessarily the dividend so price at the time of this video is about 119. If you look at the payout ratio key metrics dividend yield about 11 years without a reduction last 10 years seven percent oh look at this 100 and 50 percent very fast um zero consecutive increase in 11 years without reduction um one on one you're gonna get paid quarterly in the months of march june october and december and you get your annual payout of 0.4 per share 
The ex dividend date is September 12th. Then you get your payout of October 3. Um, looks overvalued again. It is a little bit high uh, based on the 135. So we're getting in there again. Always wait for the dip if, it, if this is something you want to start investing. And then you got your other information in there. Check this out 124% return on equity, uh -huh, uh, 87% return on investment capital. Now moving over to tip ranks based on their uh, analysis rated at a strong buy, which is 39 buys, 4 holds in your cell, 27% upside. Figure they're gonna go as high as 200, and then you got your average of 151, and then you got a low uh, 90. If you look at the ratings, again, good ratings of buy, pretty much a lot. Now, if we go over seeking alpha, um, based on their analysis right here, you got a hold, strong buy, and a hold. So, as you can see right here, that's a hold. And then that is also a strong buy, right? If you look at the dividends, and then we go to dividend estimate. For the next three years, they estimated to just not uh, not increase, keeping it at the small uh, four cents. Now over to bar chart, based on their price target, again about two hundred. 144 and then you got your ratings of buys now if we swing over to simply wall street based on their share price and fair value overvalued 119 and then you got your fair value of 87 so all right those are my three i think these are great stocks in my opinion i'm definitely bullish and i'm definitely uh, loading up on these companies I'm definitely gonna wait for a dip though anytime there's a uh, red day in any of these companies definitely I'm gonna scoop up and get some of these and dollar cost average as I go alright guys thank you so much for watching hope you like this video do me a favor hit that like button as always stay cool keep investing and I'll catch you guys in the next video right take care Aloha